Okay, welcome to part two of our video that works with propositional logic. It's chapter three in your book. The first part finished or concluded with this example that we were asking ourselves, are these two statements logically equivalent? We went through our truth tables and we did indeed found that the outcomes are identical, so we could say that these two statements are logically equivalent. Now, this means something. In the book it says, notice that this example gives us a way to distribute a negation over a disjunction. Okay? A negation over a disjunction. That is what it gives us some uh, 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 a tool for. Okay, to distribute a negation over a disjunction. We have a similar rule for distributing over conjunctions, the ands, these symbols over here. And in comes De Morgan's laws. Well, let's see what De Morgan's laws tells us. It negates a disjunction and a conjunction. It says here, not P and Q is logically equivalent to not P or not Q. Okay, now this should ring a bell in your head from what we did in chapter 0. Okay? Here, not P or Q is logically equivalent to not P and not Q. So you can see how it distributes the negation over the conjunction and the disjunction. First of all, not P and Q becomes not P or not Q. Not P or Q becomes not P and not Q. Okay, so we can ask what does De Morgan's laws do for us? And this is how the book replies. It says, this suggests that there might be some sort of algebra that you could apply to statements. And then it immediately tells us what that algebra is, and it's Boolean algebra. So you can apply this to statements to transform one statement into another. We can start collecting useful examples of logical equivalence and apply them in succession to a statement instead of writing out a complicated truth table. Now, De Morgan's laws do not directly help us with implications, but as we saw above, every implication can be written as a disjunction. Okay, so very important statement implications are disjunctions. If P then Q is logically equivalent to not P or Q. And the example he gives us here is if a number is a multiple of 4, then it is even. Is equivalent to a number is not a multiple of 4 or it is or else it is even. Okay. He continues to say, with this and De Morgan's laws, you can take any statement and simplify it to the point where negations are only being applied to atomic propositions. Well, actually not, because you could get multiple negations that are stacked up. But this can easily be dealt with. The example he gives us is the double negation. Not, not P, is logically equivalent to P. The example he gives for that is, if it is not the case that C is not odd, well, that means that C is odd. Again, it is not the case that C is not odd, means that C is indeed odd. So the double negation, not not P, is always logically equivalent to P. Okay, let's do an example. The example asks us to prove that the statements not 
if P then Q and P and not Q are logically equivalent. Now we bring our little notes in that will help us remember what it is we're supposed to know by now and we are still trying to commit to memory. So let's have a look. We're going to start our proof by with one of the statements. We're going to start with this statement and then move towards the second statement. So if I start with not P if P then Q it is I'm going to ignore the not part so what I'm going to do is I'm going to rewrite this implication P then Q to a disjunction. Okay, So this will then be not and P if P then Q becomes not P or Q the logically equivalent statement. So not P or Q by our rule over there. Okay, so now I'm going to distribute this negation. I'm going to move in on the negation. Okay, so what happens now? Well, we apply De Morgan's rule. De Morgan's rule says that if we want to um, write something that's logically equivalent to this, it follows that it will be not, not P, and not Q. Okay, by De Morgan's law. Now remember what De Morgan's law said. De Morgan's law said the negation of P, or let's just call it A, or B is logically equivalent to not A and not B. Okay, the only difference is I already had a not there. So this is A and this is B. So it's not A and not B. Now the double negation simply just changes the not not B into a P and not Q. And that's exactly where we want it to go. Okay, so yes, finally, this is true. These two statements are definitely logically equivalent. Remember what we did? We changed the proposition here into a conjunction. From there we applied to Morgan's law, we treated the double negation, got rid of it, and we showed that these two things are indeed logically equivalent. Okay, what did this example just show us? We notice that the negation of an implication is not an implication. It is a conjunction. We saw this before in chapter 0. Okay, we dealt with this before. So, let's have a look again. A negation of an implication. The negation of an implication is a conjunction. So, the negation of if then, if P then Q is logically equivalent to P and the negation of Q. So, P and not Q. That is, the only way for an implication to be false is for the hypothesis to be true and for the conclusion to be false. Okay, we will look at an example that shows us this quite nicely.